in a vedic astrological horoscope we see the position of planets from the ascendant and make predictions based on that now the position of planets with respect to ascendant is very important and predictions made on that is very accurate based on these predictions we give advices to people regarding things that is going to happen in future and predictions related to things that have already happened in past now planetary positions can not only be seen with respect to ascendant only chandra kundali known as moon horoscope where the rashi position house position of the moon is taken to be as the ascendant and other planets are calculated from there is also very important very popular saying is that in north india along with the rashi chart navams chart is made sorry in south india along with rashi chart navams chart is made and in north india along with rashi chart chandra kundali or the moon chart is made in the world of astrology today regarding navams kundali much information is there people know about navams kundali very much that's a south indian method that have been very popular internationally but north indian method of chandra kundali is not very popular but the results from chandra kundali is very miraculous particularly the, <coughs> particularly the result of planets and houses through chandra kundali is very brilliant and that is what i am going to deal in this video the result of planets with respect to chandra kundali first of all starting with the first planet sun if sun is in the ascendant sun is with moon then one lives in foreign lands which means to say that the person may not find much happiness in his birthplace and for better prospects of wealth and profession he will have to move to the foreign lands which will be good for him there will be fights in family and with family members and the native will be given to carnal pleasures sexual enjoyments etc and will generally make major decisions of his life based on these carnal pleasures only if sun is in second house to moon then native will have multiple vehicles and will be owned by government and other powerful people in the society this also indicates that the native have great chances of getting a government job the native will have many servants comfortable life and will be famous and popular as well when the sun is in third house from moon the native will be rich respected in government circles and in the high strata of the society the native will want to acquire wealth which does mean that though the native is rich but he will be greedy as well but he will be pious and will do religious activities along with being greedy as such and the native will be king like will be like king equal to king having many servants and much authorities in life when the sun is in fourth house from moon there is no happiness from mother there is no happiness of mother depending on how much afflicted the sun in fourth house is lot of affliction no happiness of mother little bit affliction no happiness from mother the native does not respect his mother as well and causes destruction and losses to his mother when the sun is in fifth house from moon native will win over his enemies he is always engaged in fighting native will have many children and specifically if he have daughters then he will be very much attached to his daughters and will fight to many people because of his daughters in order to protect his daughters etc if the sun is in sixth house from moon then the native will have many daughters and will have many resources will vanish his enemies will be successful over his enemies in competition examinations etc the native will be extremely successful the native will be valorous and native will be native will always be engaged in the kshatriya karmas of protecting his people standing by his people and other things if the sun is in seventh house from moon then native will have a beautiful white complexion spouse native will have many children the spouse of the native will be dedicated and devoted and modest as well the native himself will be virtuous will be favored by government and will be very spiritual observing spiritual practices when the sun goes to the 8th house from moon the native will be short tempered there will be many physical elements to the native the native will not do financially well and the native will have ascetic tendencies 
ascetic, ascetic tendencies as in pursuing the spiritual life and doing the spiritual sadhana etc and the native will remain in agony because of financial difficulties that i told you when the sun is in ninth house from moon the native will speak a lot of lies will be partial to his siblings family members and kinsmen will not follow his dharma will be interested in the dharma of others will completely overlook his responsibilities etc and because of this he will be troubled by his family members and others when the sun goes in 10th house from moon native will be honored by authority and authoritative people native will be very knowledgeable native will be famous native will be the leader and the most prominent most successful person in his entire family the native will be wealthy it is good if the native is doing business and many other businessmen if the native is doing business not only he is successful in business but other businessmen also attend to him also respect him also give his patronage to the native when the sun is in 11th house from moon the native will be rich the native will be glorified the native will have many resources the native will have many vehicles the native will know a lot of subjects the native will be popular and the native will be head of his family will be most successful in his family when the sun is in 12th house from moon there can be loss of limbs because of diseases or accidents there will be defects and other health problems in the body native will generally be very diseased there will be problems in eyesight particularly related to right eye and other problems related to eyesight will be there and apart from that native will also not be far sighted he will generally take decisions based on the current circumstances and will not take decisions based on what is going to happen in future right so his uh, view is not a uh, you know not, not something that concerns complete uh, you say complete life short term decisions he makes which becomes the reason for his disappointments in life as such particularly if there is any planet in 10th to vena 10th to moon when you work with the relative signified by that planet you become very successful so when sun goes in 10th to moon if you work with your father then you will be very successful in this regard according to my experience the relatives that are signified by the houses lauded by the planets should also be taken into consideration this is all for the result of sun